Welcome, Star Kids and friends. Today's passage is Mark chapter 14, verses 12 to 26. In the previous passage, Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, plotted with the chief priest to betray Jesus. In contrast to this hateful action, a woman, Mary, she acted in loving devotion to Jesus and anointed him with a very costly oil. Jesus praised the sacrifice. Mary's attitude of love and honor toward Jesus is an example for all of us Christians to follow. Today's passage occurs on the night before Jesus died. The disciples were all together eating the Passover meal. And at this meal, Jesus announces that he will be betrayed. And Jesus uses the bread and the wine of the meal to help the disciples identify with him and share in his blessing that would come from his death. When our church has communion, we are also identifying with Jesus and sharing in his new covenant as we remember his sacrifice for us. So before we read today's passage from the Bible, let's pray and ask God to teach us. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we do thank you for your sacrifice for us. Thank you that you want us to know you, to love you, and thank you for saving us. Help us to learn about you today as we read in Jesus' name, amen. Read along with me in your Bible, starting in chapter 14, verse 12. On the first day of the festival of unleavened bread, when it is customary to sacrifice the Passover lamb, Jesus' disciples asked him, Where do you want us to go and make preparations for you to eat the Passover? So he sent two of his disciples, telling them, Go into the city. And, follow, and a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him. Say to the owner of the house he enters, The teacher asks, Where is my guest room, where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large room upstairs, furnished and ready. Make preparations for us there. The disciples left, went into the city, and found things just as Jesus had told them. So they prepared the Passover. When evening came, Jesus arrived with the twelve. While they were reclining at the table eating, he said, Truly I tell you, one of you will betray me, one who is eating with me. They were saddened, and one by one they said to him, Surely you don't mean me. It is one of the twelve, he replied. One who dips bread into the bowl with me, the Son of Man will go just at his, as it is written about him. But woe to that man who betrays the Son of Man. It would be better for him if he had not been born. While they were eating, Jesus took the bread. And, then he, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it. This is my body. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they also drank from it. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. He said to them, Truly I tell you, I will not drink again from the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. When they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. What is God saying you to, to you today in that passage? Take some time to think about it. Maybe read it over again. And then write down what you were learning in your journal. Don't forget to share what God is teaching you with someone else.